Welcome to another edition of Word Matters. I'm Dr. Matthew Irvin, and in this series, we'll explore the power of words. Words can discourage, or they can encourage us. Words can create powerlessness, or words can create hope and a sense of agency in our lives. Words can be so vague or so precise that intent is lost. In these videos, we investigate language as a tool through which we can create our own world, rather than merely being passive in a world not of our own making. In today's video, we'll take a hard look at language that defeats us. Language is powerful. It can be a barrier as much as an affirmation. We know that language has a powerful effect on infants and very young children early in life. MRIs of humans as they develop in the first five years of life provide dramatic evidence for the effect of language on the actual physical development of the human brain. We used to think that this was fixed and irreversible after age five, but scientists are increasingly mapping the brain in its environment as a dynamic, changing, creating organism throughout life. It turns out that the crocheted saying on your grandmother's wall is true. Children live what they learn, but so increasingly do adults at every stage of our lives. So what does this mean? Language affects our reality. It gives us the self-capacity to write or rewrite our personal script. Today, we're looking at types of language that we use to program ourselves for defeat self-sabotage. See how many of these you can identify in your own life and in your own language patterns. Do we delete? Deletions. If you make a statement that there are a lot of things that really make you upset, then ask yourself, how upset does it make you? What is making you upset? A person? A context? A set of behaviors? Here, the word matters are the words not included in your explanation. Do we create an unnecessarily complicated equivalence? I'll never succeed because I didn't get my education until I was in my 40s rather than in my 20s. How does timing in your getting your education mean that you will be successful or not? Do you know anyone who is in their 40s who got their education who is successful? Here, negative programming is created through words like never, not, and don't. We make generalizations. Everybody at my job hates me. My job sucks. Everybody hates you? Do they really? Is there anyone at your job who doesn't hate you? Does every part of your job suck, every aspect of it? Are there any parts of your job that do not suck? Words like everybody, all, here is implied as in all parts of my job suck. Impossibility is another way that we sabotage ourselves through language. If you watch the first video in the series, this is a great way to sabotage those New Year's resolutions. I can't lose weight. It's impossible for me to get into shape. What's stopping you? What would it look like if you got in shape? Is there any part of that that is possible? All of these are types of language that we use every day to self-sabotage ourselves. If we eliminate these, we can at least begin to clear the way to replace never, can't, impossible, everyone, no one disempowering words that limit us, with words that are positive. We can use words to move towards something, not just to articulate the way the deck chairs are arranged on the Titanic. In part three of our series, we will explore how to construct language so that you move towards, not away from your goals. Remember, peace is not just the absence of war for the world, and for you. One way forward, 
to use your language as a way to move your mind and your life towards where you want it to be, then please click on the link below and join me at Accountability Coach 100. Your new year begins on January 24th or March 4th or May 12th or any day that you determine that it will begin. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.